So the next question. A relation R in the set is said of all integers defined as R is equal to set R dot pair X, Y such that X minus Y is an integer. So the set given us is set. Set of all integers. Positive integers are there. Negative integers are there. Zero is also there. So if I want to write the set. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. This is our set. And the relation given is x minus y. Difference of two numbers is an integer. That is how we are collecting the elements of r. r is equal to, if I am taking two elements, minus 3, minus 2. If I take the difference of these two, minus 3, minus, minus 2 gives you minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1. It's an integer. Same as the case with these two numbers. Minus 2 minus minus 1 will give you minus 2 plus 1 which gives you minus 1 again an integer. Isn't it? Same way. If I subtract e every each and every two integers, I will be getting an integer. That means so many elements are there in this R. We are not able to write all the elements in Rosja form. So the condition given is the difference of two integers must be an integer. That happens in the case of all integers. So the first thing to check is it is reflexive. To check reflexivity, what is the condition? X, X element of R. So we will take an example of 1, 1. Will 1, 1 belongs to the set? Yes, definitely. Why? Because you know, if X, Y element of R, the condition given in the question is X minus Y belongs to a set. That means X minus Y must be an integer. So I took the number as 1, 1. 1 minus 1. What is 1 minus 1? 0. Okay, and 0 is an element of Z. Therefore, 1, 1 element of R. And it is true, 4, 2, 2, 3, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 5, 5, 7, 7, 100, 100, for all element. So, the conclusion is, this R is reflexive. Okay, this is not empty set, there are many elements. So, uh, the R is reflexive. Since we, are, we have to write as reflexive, we will write in general, for every x element of z x comma x element of r therefore r is reflexive okay again the second one is to prove the symmetric here also i will take two numbers 1 2 1 2 is an element of r why it became an element of r this difference of 1 and 2 is an integer that is our condition x minus y is an integer what about 2 1 2 1 will also be an element of r do you know the reason 2 minus 1 will also be an integer if it is negative 2 1 will be positive still it is an integer so it happens for all the cases and if x minus y is an integer then sure y minus x is also an integer okay that means for all x comma y element of r y comma x belongs to r which implies r is symmetric this happens only because the set given us the set of integers okay again the third one is to prove the transitive Here also we will deal with an example. 1. Why we are not writing here is because if it is transitive we have to write the general case. But for checking we will take an example. Suppose 1, 5 element of R and 5, 9 element of R. Okay, 1, 5 will be an element of R because the difference of 1 and 5 is an integer. 5, 9 also is an element of R because the difference of 5 and 9 is again an integer. What we have to check is, we have to check whether 1, 9, 1, 9 element of R or not. What about the difference between 1 and 9? Difference between 1 and 9 is minus 8. Minus 8 is an integer, isn't it? Since the difference is an integer, 1, 9 belongs to R. This happened though we check only for one pair, it happens to all the cases, isn't it? That means R is transitive. So to write the general case, what we check is for all A comma B comma B comma C element of R, what will it imply? A comma C element of R. Therefore, R is transitive. So we got an R which is reflexive. 
symmetric and transitive. So we can conclude that RSN equivalence relation. RSN equivalence relation. Spelling of equivalence is E-Q-U-I-V-A-L-E-N-C-E. -E. It is not equivalent. It is equivalence. RSN equivalence relation. Okay. The question is not asked for checking whether it is equivalence or not. But still I told as it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, this R is an equivalence relation.